Christmas has now gone, so we can get back to doing a few videos. Today we have not a lamp, it may look like a lamp at first sight, but it is a, um, in fact, you could call it a valve, you could call it a rectifier. It is in fact a rectifier, which uses the Edison effect. This, this was the effect that Edison rather sillily ignored. He didn't really he didn't really realise what it was, but it's a process that is now used on various things, particularly valves, uh, rectifiers. Anyhow, let's get down to the real point of this. What we have is a Tungar rectifying bulb. It consists of a heavy filament. I'll try and show it a bit better. Put a bit, put a bit of light behind it, and we'll see if I can show it up. Can't always get these straight away to show up. There we are. I think I just about got it there. There's the actual filament. It's a heavy filament, which is capable of taking quite a quite a few amps. Now this would be lit up from the contacts on the base. It lit up at approximately one to two to, to three volts. But it does take a bit of current so it, it does light up quite bright or uh, not brilliant but it, it does light up. You can see it. Now directly above it you have a plate or an anode. I think I can show it. There we are. It's difficult to get it right in. And the anode goes to the top and comes out as a wire connection. How it works is these were used in old car battery chargers or larger chargers which I'll show on on the box and they would convert alternating current to direct current to charge up the car batteries. You occasionally see mercury arc rectifiers. I missed one on, uh, well I didn't miss it, uh, uh, there was one on eBay but um, it had to be collected and it was miles away so I'm afraid it remained on eBay and someone else got it. But this is not a mercury arc rectifier although there may be traces of mercury in it. It simply relies on the fact that it's got argon gas and the filament we saw was made of tungsten. You put those two names together you get the word Tungar. Now Tungar were originally manufactured in America by the the GE company which was the company f ironically founded by Edison and this is using the Edison effect. But the lamp I've got was bought in England needless to say from one of my favourite flea markets. If we look on it, it's got Tungar bulb catalogue and you've got a number there as well. I will give it to 189049 GE Company USA it's also underneath it says licensed as set forth on carton and tag. Now it's got a mogul cap or base, heavy brass, heavy contact. I don't honestly know if this lamp is still functioning. The filament 
or the heater as it should be correctly called is intact as shown um, the silvering is due to the, the action that had taken place this little pit there would be where the bulb was sealed and evacu well it's not evacuated because it's got argon gas in it but that's the actual lamp itself you can see the size by comparing it now the box now this lamp or valve Tungar valve was sold in England it's got a it's got a volt rating and amps but unfortunately they don't show up now that's gone many years ago let's have a look at the make you'll notice the symbol BTH British Thompson Houston that was the English side of the American GE notice the little circle with the little hooks very very similar in fact this has got three hooks well I think the GE's one's got four the same symbol is used in France for the uh, the French company called Thompson we called it British Thompson Houston in fact Thompson was one of the early workers who helped to uh, build the other uh, GE company up along with very very many famous names now as it says for battery charger now on the box it's got the two types of chargers that you would use it they call it a home type and a public garage type and remember this is going back a long long time modern battery chargers use silicon rectifiers and um, certainly don't use these anymore but it's been put in for a bit of interest there's quite a few entries on YouTube on these so I thought well I'd have my two penny worth as it was and uh, I hope you enjoy once again please subscribe please comment any questions I will certainly get back to you and thanks for watching oh and by the way Happy New Year. Thank you.